only fully restored 1951 lighthouse maybe in the world. Hey guys, this is Mark with The Art of RVing. Here we have Ethan Langley of American RV. Hang on. <laughs> Here I am with Ethan Langley, my brother from another mother with American RV restoration. And we're so getting let's ready to show you the lighthouse duplex. So we do have a 28 foot trailer with two stories, two queen beds upstairs. Here's the screen doors that we manufactured because there was no screen doors. We got it. Unbelievable. We have a pull. So, off so a, hang on. So yeah. you built this whole door by well, hand. A, a lot of this mark had to be basically built from scratch because we didn't have the pieces and they don't make them anymore just like the handle here right that came off of three different trailers a piece here a piece here and a piece here all three of those were from different trailers had to have the emblem remanufactured because it was so faded you couldn't even see it had to find a doorbell and rebuild it <laughs> off the internet oh, you gonna love that dude one of the big things was new axles because we've traveled 28 states now, if you can believe that, in the last two years since your followers have seen us. And having new axles, brakes, tires, that kind of thing is a big part of it. So we had to manufacture cutouts for these axles because you can see they're an inch wider on both sides. But we didn't want to lose the aesthetic of vintage, so we left it where it has it covered, kind of like an old Cadillac or something like that. There you go, love it, man. Um, of course, you can see the green that my wife picked out. The green would have been a thousand dollar option back in the 50s, so that would have been an expense you could have bought. Not many people did. They normally left it silver. Color, so as I was saying on the color, color really didn't get introduced until the movie The Long, Long Trailer. After that, everybody wanted color on their trailer. They wanted paint. So this would have been a big time option. A thousand dollars back in 1950s, a lot of money. So we can move around. You see this cover back here, it looks like a fifth wheel cover. This is actually the cover of our mini split. So we have heat and air from that. Smart. Got the original tail lights all redone, original windows all redone. You even have the original license plate light, which is very hard to find, and found a Texas plate that is registered. Um, many different things about this have been upgraded. So we have a jack system where we can stabilize it down below. Right. Of course, now we have 50 amp. We don't just have a 110 plug, which used to be up here. Now we have a 50 amp service, so we can run both ACs, power everything like the TVs we've added and all the other electronics. Awesome. Pretty cool. Of course, new water fixtures. Um, another couple things that we added in was this used to be where the propane tanks were held under the stairs. So I turned this into a storage area, which is kind of cool. So now we have storage in there. And I just add one propane tank on the front, being all we have is the stove that runs on propane now. This would have been the escape patch mark, so if it was on fire, you would have jumped out of here. Dang. Now, that's a pretty good drop from there to that's there, That's a pretty buddy. good drop. Now, you got to think, a lot of people would use this for the AC, so they would either have a swamp cooler or an air conditioner they would stick in here. I literally have pictures of this back in the 50s and 60s where that's what they were doing to keep cool because you know down south it gets hot. Yeah, swamp cooler, swamp uh, cooler. otherwise known as a water cooler. Amen, amen. Yep. So as we move around, you'll see the windows, all the windows we had to rebuild. So as we were coming back from California, two of the windows broke out, which one was the big window, one was the window over here. So we created a stone guard to cover those, and you can literally see a few nicks and dings on it over the years for rocks hitting it. So this has saved that glass, like when we went to the LA Auto Show, that saved the glass, basically. We did add a power jack to it, and we put the propane tank up here, but that helps out a lot when we're putting the sway system on so this thing doesn't sway going down the highway. But a lot of windows, as you can see, Mark, that's why they call it the lighthouse, of course, because of the windows. Huh. The but let's go inside. Let's see where the Hang magic on, I is. I got a question. So yeah. I always thought this thing was like super heavy because of this top on it. And actually, it's not heavy at all, is it? So most of this is made of wood. We have 8,800, and they were only 6,800 factory, but we've added a lot more stuff to it. Uh, unbelievable, Isn't man. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, and the aerodynamic of the center. Oh, yeah. Two-story is amazing, right? It was a hell of a design back in the day. It yeah. still is. And the guy who made it? Richard Ten Eyck. Yeah. Another cool thing about him was if you go to the Smithsonian, you'll see this trailer, but you also see the Vornado fans. That was another thing that he created, which are still in existence today. I have one. I know you do. They're awesome. I have one, too. I love them, man. Hey, so, we all want to go inside. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
Oh my gosh, look at this thing, man. We're in here. All right, lay it on us, man. So first thing I want you to see is I'm 6'3". Yes. Okay? I still have room, even with my hat on in here, which is pretty cool. Wow. People back in the 50s were a lot smaller, and I have a picture of one of the original owners. He was almost underneath the uh, windows. <laughs> so people have grown a lot. I still feel like Elf when I'm in the shower, but this is an amazing thing. <laughs> So, I just told you earlier, we've been 28 states in this now since, you know, you guys have seen it. Uh, and the floor, that's one thing that I want to talk about. All the people that have toured this over the last 28 states, this floor still looks amazing. We haven't even buffed it. This is epoxy resin that we poured in here. So, it's held up very well. We were worried about carpet, we were worried about tile with the flex. Yeah. We were a little bit worried about the epoxy, but we put some uh, modifier in there so it flexes. And it's been amazing. It hasn't cracked or anything. Mm -hmm. So, so many cool little features in here. As we've traveled over the states, we've picked up things like the Vornado fan, which I was saying how Richard Ten Eyck um, has the patent for that and the patent for the trailer. So, one the cool thing that I thought, we were in L.A. at the big show. We had all these people touring. I was outside just watch them come in come out. And the radio, there was a guy that says, hey, do you know what you have in there? And I didn't know what he was talking about. He was talking about the radio, how high dollar that radio is. And I told him, I said, there's been no expense spared on this whole trailer. Tell us about the TV. It's awesome, man. I love this. So I had the idea to put a Philco Predict in here. That was one of my first thoughts. And I had one of the tabletop models. And I didn't even know they had one like this that stood up. And when I found this magazine, Inside this magazine, they talk about the thing called the Lighthouse Duplex coming out. And in there, the sales manager says, we're going to have a cutout for the thing called a TV. Because people in RVs will all have TVs in there in the future. So this TV I picked up in Maine worked out perfectly. It fit just amazing in the spot. So the clock we found in Gladewater, the local pick, um, we just thought it was a really cool piece. It's and perfect, man. It really fits the trailer amazing. Yeah, how big this thing is in here. Another cool thing, Mark, that uh, whenever we were tearing it down, up here it has the vaulted ceiling because the bedroom ends and it goes up, so it gives you the, the effect of having a vaulted ceiling. Well, there was a bulb in there that was like seven foot long from 1950, and I couldn't even believe it had something like that, and the heat that it put off burned into the wood. I thought that was crazy. So we put, of course, an LED strip in there now where it doesn't put out any heat, just like all the other lights, Yeah. but uh, that would probably keep you warm in the winter just off that seven foot bulb, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they were trying to give that lighting in here to blow it up, which is which is really cool. Just all the little thoughts there, like putting a TV spot in this, you know, in 1950, who would have thought of that, you know? Lighthouse Corporation thought of it. Well, they storage did. is just amazing in this thing. I don't even think I've ever put anything up above me. We have so much storage. I mean, who can say that, Mark? Who can say, I have too much storage? Not many people in an RV. Not an RV. So many different things in here we like, like the lights. So these little sconces over here, those are actually something we had to find because that was the original. We had one of them in the trailer, but I need to find the rest. Actually got in a bidding war on eBay for those. Spent close to $3,000 to get those lights. Ooh. But you know, so another cool thing is the heater. So this was the original heater that we had with it. And everybody was asking me, where's the heater? And I said, well, I don't need a heater in here. I took it out. I said, we were in Texas. We don't need to you know, be warm. Yeah. So everybody gave me grief over that and i said you know all right i'm going to put it back in there so instead of using it as a heater we have it as a speaker system so this has a stereo no. in it uh -uh. and we got the lights and we airbrushed it to look like it's on fire yeah so it's kind of cool because now we have air and heat that comes out of the ceiling that drops sure. down from the roof unit i like to hide things so this is going to be the step where you would step into your bed right here and then this is going to be to hide the floor. So the floor is actually for the second story is behind here. So you can stand up in this at 6'3". You'll see here in a minute. I don't hit the ceiling, which is an amazing thing, how they did the innovation. More like these doors, Mark, that slide. Wow. And, of course, we had to manufacture these because these weren't in here. I mean, we had to figure it out, you know, like everything else. So this is the hallway. Of course, we have storage on the right and bathroom on the left. Let's go in the bathroom. So the bathroom is a pretty cool thing. We actually took a little space out of the kitchen to make the bathroom a little bigger. And you can see that we have a pretty nice size shower in there. Sure. We also have a little cabinet right there to store our towels and that kind of thing. And there is also a window that was factory in there, which is pretty cool. So when you're sitting on the pot, you can stir out the window a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I want you to notice a couple things. You can also see the stairway that's hidden. And you can see the step for the bed in the bathroom. That's one thing that Lighthouse did so they could have the extra space upstairs. Does have the original medicine cabinet and the original sink. Wow. I thought that was pretty cool. That is cool. 
And this is a vent. Is this an original vent over here? That's a original vent, not from this trailer, but a original vent, period relic. And we use that for the fan now. It does have a fan in the bathroom, which they didn't have factory. Love it. So the kitchen. This is one thing that I'm the most proud of on the whole trailer because we had so many pictures of the kitchen from back in the day of them sitting eating cake at the table, uh, the oven getting used for cooking, dishes in this area, the fridge. So. We killed it in this area, and I'll show you some of that stuff later on the picks. But we found a piece of the original backsplash, one piece that I could find. So we have the original backsplash. I found a sink that was probably a 9 out of 10. Found a faucet that was real close. Of course, we talked about the light sconces already. That was a set that I bought off eBay, and they are the original style. Mm -hmm. The oven is original to it um, and does work. Fully functional. Cool. Um, the table, we have pictures of the kids, like I say, eating uh, birthday cake on the table, which is pretty cool. Which I can see in the other video yes. that we put together. Yes. Yeah, it's really cool. And if you remember from one of your other videos, this is pretty much one of the only pieces of original wood in here, which is the border that goes around the door that we saved. You guys have been 28 states. That fridge has conked out three times, <laughs> but we've rebuilt it three times. Oh no. So it doesn't like the journey, but uh, it's still there with us. We're not getting rid of it. That's a 48 <laughs> model, by the way. 48. Mm -hmm. mm. So we had to find some of this stuff and get it, you know, put in here from back in the day. So and the main thing yeah. is on a lighthouse duplex, the second story. Let's go take a look at it. Look at All it. right, stairs in the RV. Here we go. We're going upstairs. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? So, very, very cool. Had the original headboard bolsters that we had recovered. Queen size, queen size beds up here. That's what blows everybody's mind. They say, you know, what's up there? A twin? A full? No, it's a queen. Full queen. Wow. Ledge over here to set your stuff on. Plugs over there. Tons of light in the lighthouse. Overhead light for reading. AC vent that we added in up above the bed. Little drawer here for you to put your stuff in when you stay. Of course, one of the light sconces. Funny thing was, this was the only light sconce that was in the trailer, and I don't know if you remember in some of your videos, it was holding on by one screw all those <laughs> years since 1951. Well, Can you imagine if that would have fallen and somebody would have thrown it away? I never would have known what, what light I had in here. Man, I the original. And is this the master bedroom, or is this the... This is the guest room, actually. Wait till you see room. the master bedroom. Yeah, and stand up in there and show them how... So this would be down in the living room now, and I'm 6'3". Isn't that crazy? And look at this thing. Look at that. Insane. That is, man, the engineering here. Yeah. All right, let's go check out the master bedroom. Let's go. So welcome to the master bedroom, the lighthouse. Loving it. This is really, really cool. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Come on in. Yep. And again, tell us why this is the master. All right, so we have a lot more storage here, as you can see. Cool. So we have extra drawers which is really neat. That sinks back to give you more storage. Yeah. Are those pretty, those look pretty deep. They are pretty deep. Oh, wow. Here's my shorts. Nice. <laughs> Texas style. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, master bedroom. This is, have a TV in here. Oh, uh, another, what is that called? That's a 56 Zenith. Oh, too cool, man. That would have been a compact model. Obviously, back in the day, it was so small. I love it. Storage behind it. We have an extra little storage area we added. Um, the storage over the kitchen was dead space so we added that in there smart as usual um, we have a ledge over here to keep your your cell phones your your magazines uh-huh oh that's handy dude yeah uh, shocker yeah of course same headboard AC vent AC master control light plugs mm -hmm. it's just astounding all, all the space that's in here mm -hmm. and a queen bed then again yeah another queen bed man it's just amazing Ethan, we appreciate you, dude. I appreciate you and all your followers over the years that have kept this dream alive. Good. I appreciate my guys at American RV yeah, Restoration. Of course. And, you know, if you want to hit us up for any restoration needs, we're on Facebook with American RV Restoration, on Instagram. We have our website, and we have our telephone number, 903-918-8581. Hit us up. Give us a call. Hey, why are you so awesome? Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. All right, buddy. See you, man. Bye.